morning guys. Jay here again, Goody Bushcraft. And we're off out again for an overnighter. A New Year's Eve overnighter. So, Happy New Year to everyone, because it will be 2017 when you're watching this. So yeah, hope everyone had a good one. We've decided to do something a bit different, because I think my raving days are behind me nowadays. And I didn't have nothing else on, uh, going out wise. So I thought I'd rather be in the woods. Let's have a wild camp on New Year's Eve. So I've got Paul with me over there, Prep Nomad. And uh, yeah, just us two. We're going to be joined shortly, possibly by uh, Dino and Ray. They might swing by there on a bike ride, calling for a brew. And I think Annie Rag is going to come by and uh, say hello as well. So yeah, should be a good one. Right, I'm going to get set up now and catch you in a bit. So this is my new uh, Dutch Army issue Bergen. I think it's called the Sting or the Stingray. It's not as big as the Saracen one, but yeah, so it's 60 litre and then rocket patches 20 each side make it 100 litre so that is more than I'll ever need <laughs> I mean I've rammed it to capacity today because we've only got a short walk in from drop-off point but yeah well happy with it and Paul's kindly given me a wool blanket and all so we are going to be toasty warm there's Paul's pack they carry more wait, wait, carry more SF this one's Predator SF 80 to 130 80 to 130 that's awesome. So Paul's decided he's going with Lavu tonight. Night at Lavu. I'm going to go with Hammock. I'm going to go over there. It's been a while since we stayed in this open area. Probably a couple of years. And then we moved over to that area over there. And I think a lot of people followed his move. But yeah, this, is, this was the first area we stayed at. Obviously before Spider Tree fell. Yeah, perfect for hammocks, plenty of trees there, look, and there. And there, I just had a message off Andy, he's here, so he's going to be walking down from there shortly. So, we'll bring you back shortly. Alright then, Andy's turned up. How you doing, Andy? Alright, mate, cool. <laughs> Glad you could come down. Finally here. Finally here. <laughs> Cracking spot. It looks a lot better in summer, but still good to be out. Oh, right, guys, there's Paul's Lavu all set up. He's got an unissued one. Pretty much same as mine. I went for unissued, but I've only used it once. I wish I'd have bought my women now. Tons of space, look. You get two in there quite snug, and one in there with loads of room. Paul's got the bar set up. Hobgoblin. Most important. And he's brewing up. We just bumped into quite a few walkers. Strange. <laughs> Don't expect to see anybody up here today, but they said they were staying in Old Poets Pub overnight and they were just having a nice walk around. They didn't think we were crazy either. They're quite interested to be honest in what we we're doing. There's tonight's setup. Same as always, DD Multicam 3x3 and the Frontline Hammock. I've actually uh, vivid it between these two trees a few years ago. Me and Ray made a shelter there. We we're nearly froze. But it'll be a lot warmer tonight. Got the Arctic bag. Also bought the British Army Jungle sleeping bag. And Paul's kindly given me a wool blanket. So, I won't be toasted. Well, man, I've got the underquilt as well. So, <laughs> totally prepared. Yeah, just a quick thank you really. Uh, this German Army Flecton uh, combat jacket, the kind gift off Andy Sparks on the cover outdoors. Last time we were up here, I'd mentioned before to him that I like Flecton camo and stuff, and he said he had one that didn't fit and I could have it. So cheers, Andy. Thank you, mate. So DD under blanket, British Army jungle sleeping bag, British Army Arctic sleeping bag. Slight difference in size with them two. And another kind gift, Andy Rag has just given me this uh, British Army combat jacket. He asked me if, uh, if I wanted it, and I certainly do. So yeah, it's cracking. Really chuffed. Cheers, Andy. Thank you for that, mate. Cheers, mate. No worries. Now, some would say this is a little glamping, but I used Paul's on his last camp, this little table thing, and I was impressed. So I'll pick one up off eBay. It's perfect for getting exit stove on, look, and 
keep your stuff organised. Folds down flat and it weighs nothing, so just slipped it in back here. The old rucksack. I'm really impressed with that. Right, time to go and uh, harvest a bit of wood, I think. Some deadfall there, with a couple of dry limbs on it, so we're going to hack them off. Really, really peaceful the place today. No wind, no nothing. It's a great time to be out. Really glad we uh, could make it out this New Year's camp. Something different, isn't it? And a great place to spend it. Check that. We've seen it a thousand times before, but I'll show you again. Andy's knocking up some cracking feather sticks. Blades at Andy. This is the Ultra Force OK1. Basically, it's a uh, Ultra Force GK with a modified blade. Yeah, it's the same handle as the GK, just a different colour. Yeah. Uh, the blade is modified, obviously, with this uh, blackening finish. It's a uh, carbon steel blade, uh, Scandi grind with a micro bevel, <laughs> and uh, a sharpened 90 degree spine so you can throw sparks. And it's Performing well, yeah. It's a They're cracking, there. cracking knife, and for what I pay for it, <laughs> these are these are probably around fifteen quid. Isn't it? Yeah. Nice. At the minute, I mean, just look at the way. It's good. That's good. It's 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 slicing through. Yeah. I mean, if you look at the more, I mean, this is a this is a nice little knife in its own right. Yeah, that's why Yeah, both cracking. Yeah, both cracking. So then, guys. Stevie under quilt, front line hammock, wall blanket, opened up jungle bag as an extra layer, arctic bag, norgi, headscarf, woolly hat, and I think it should be warm enough. Right then, I thought I'd show you my new fire kit. I pinched this off my mum because I thought it's quite a sturdy tin that. Now this is not a natural uh, fire lighting kit, it's not totally uh, synthetic stuff or whatever, it's a mixture of everything, so I've got like one of those big fire lighters if it's really gone. <laughs> but shit, you can't get nothing going. My favourite one, Mr Scooty Fire Steel. Cheap little backup one. A box full of matches and the strikers on the inside of the lid. The, the British Army uh, waterproof ones. Some cotton wool in Vaseline. Axle blade as a striker, just a normal lighter. Big block of fat wood and a little through night torch there. And then inside here, my Altoids tin, I've got my uh, flint, traditional flint and steel, and a bit of fat wood. I think, without going, going too crazy, I think that'll, that's pretty much. Everything I need, really. Gonna knock up a bit of char cloth later. My little tin. Now the cotton I bought does look a bit thin, so I'm not sure how well it'll work out, but we'll get a try. Because I do need to make some more for me. Flint and steel kit. Fire nicely roaring. We shall be needing that tonight. Bought tons of wood weirs. Paul's got some fire logs, and we've got a couple of big bags of logs and sticks and some stuff we stashed up here. We're gonna use that as well. Right, it's plenty, and we've got the logs over there. Look, so we'll get them all processed, chopped down. Andy's just done a sterling job chopping us some. It's all good. Sir. 
and oh, just turned Steve. up. <laughs> Hey. Like that, no, I can't. I'm, I'm literally I'm just. Yeah, Steve, how's it going, mate? Andy. Hey, dude. <laughs> nice guitar you've got there, yeah. Well, uh, you should see the rest of them. Yeah. Cheers, fellas. <laughs> All right, Paul. Take a swig. <laughs> Cheers, Steve. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> to the wild campers. Uh, the wild campers. Wild hey. Campers. New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be divorced tomorrow. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going. I'm going home like when I've had this and. Uh, before. We're off out later. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Yep. Right, starting to drop a bit dark now, but Steve's getting hammock up. <laughs> now, watch, watch this. I hope you're not watching. <laughs> this I am filming. Done this a bit high, Jay. I think we say it's a touch of eyes. I reckon, like I, I reckon I might need a step or two. There's no wrong with that, Steve. Cracking. Oh, there it be, eh? <laughs> Spot on. Right. I'm going to use <laughs> Second attempt, right. <laughs> As I can see now, you're focused. We've got Mark Take here, Mark Badger. Evening. Hey. Evening. <laughs> yeah. Come and see what these lot are up to. Yes. Keep an eye on them. <laughs> it's all good. A good time. It's only early, so I think it's only about half five, isn't it? Yeah, just, it's not late. No, it's not late. 25 to 6. Yeah. Well, late, didn't it? Just enjoying a couple of beers, a few drinks. Maybe some rat pack punching a bit, Steve. What do you reckon? <laughs> oh, I would say definitely. New Year's Eve. <laughs> good, you? Cheers. Well. It's all good. Time for another trip to the bar. Spent a good uh, hour or two chatting away around the fire. We, uh, Steve Paul and Mark Barking Badger, he's heading back to his van now. He's going to go home. And I think uh, Paul is fetching a few more beverages from the van. <laughs> Not that we ain't going off. I mean, we've got a few old Goblin Golds, a couple of Carlins, and uh, probably about half of that left. So just had a bit of a tidy up Ryan camp while, the, while they've been gone. Just trying to burn some of these big logs down. Uh, a couple of seats, going to make another seat there. Out of uh, a few rocks and some some leftover material, some sandbag covers, what Steve bought last time. It's all good. Still on the early and all. Right then, food time. Got burgers on go. Smelling good already. Right, it's New Year's Eve, guys. So I think it's a law to have quite a big campfire. Plus, it's pretty chilly. So we've got these big logs on, I'm going to burn through them. And I think the length of this beast, they'll just keep us going all night, these will. Steve just cracked a ration pack. <laughs> Says we can. Uh, Help us send for a few snacks. Cheers, Dick. No problem, Jay. <laughs> I just wanted hot chocolate out on it. I, I've, I've come here in a rush. I've got to have a chocolate brandy. In the chalice as well. Don't we good chalice? Oh, it's got to be a chalice. I just need a, I just need a bit of hot water with that now, Jay. And, I better uh, get in there now. Just answer one. There's plenty of hot chocolate powder <laughs> left. I'm alright. I think I'm going to stick with beer a minute. We want of goblin gold and all. Honey brandy. Hot chocolates. Just give this a bit of a mix. And it not be long till New Year, I don't think now, about half hour. Half hour, yeah. That's not been a bad night so far, enjoying it. Right, probably next to you, at New Year. Right then, it's about quarter to midnight now, and we've come over to Cliff to bring in the New Year. Let's stay look. All right. Let's pull. There's a nice bottle of brandy down there. We've all got a few beers. I'm ready for the fireworks. I reckon they come from that way, Chesterfield way. Possibly over that way, Mansfield way, Tibby way. It's all good. 20 seconds to midnight, guys. Yeah, I can hear fireworks popping already. <laughs> While we're on this cliff, looking for fireworks. I think that's it, guys. There we go. Happy New Year, guys. Wait, is that it? Yeah, I think that's it, Steve. Happy New Year, <laughs> Happy New Year to you, mate. But I'm not going to come over and give you a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because we're on a cliff edge. It's a danger. 2017. Happy New Year, Happy Paul. Happy New Year, Paul. <laughs> Happy New Year. We didn't have the cart now. I can hear all the fireworks, but this, this ain't picking them up. This one is. This one is big time, yeah. You can see them everywhere. It's not the odd bang. 
they're all massively in distance. So getting the flashes out, you can see this. You're not getting much on this dive vision, which I thought you would. Yeah, there's some loud bangs coming from behind us and all, wherever that is. Matlock, guys, Matlock goes, it is, yeah. Wicked. What a place to spend it. Thanks for coming out, fellas. <laughs> it's all good. Thanks for having us again. a little late to dance, look he must not have been out of light fuse. <laughs> you can hear the bangs, you can see there's faint flashes but we are quite away from it anyway. <laughs> Ash over itself ain't doing much. He's not is it? It's, it's just, just right there. <laughs> There you go, prep. Safe. Happy New Year, mate. <laughs> <laughs> He's get, got a swiggy. Get Brandy down. Swig Brandy first. <laughs> Happy New Year, mate. All best. Jake. Uh, yeah, yeah we well, hold that pole. Oh. <laughs> Cheers, Steve. Thank you. I've got to these I'm, I'm trying not to stumble about on on this <laughs> yeah. location, Jay. Happy New Year, Steve. <laughs> got wrong Happy out. New Year, mate. Happy New Year, buddy. Fantastic. It's not everyone's cup of tea while camping New Year's Eve style, but it does for me. I don't know about you, lads. <laughs> I'm happy with it. Right then, I reckon that's about it for this evening. Been sat around fire with Steve for ages, <laughs> <laughs> chatting about absolutely everything. It's been wicked, Steve, hasn't it? I've enjoyed right, it, mate. And uh, I think it's time to hit the sack. Hit the sack now. Jump in the O'Dam, mate. So probably anyway, next next video will be the morning. Happy New Year to everybody. Yeah, we happy had to New already year. mentioned it. Yeah, definitely. It's been absolutely cracking. Something different. Nice wild camp for New Year. And chilling out on fire, just chatting, chatting stuff with a few beers. Absolutely perfect. Good morning guys, welcome to a very wet 2017, yeah it's been chucking it down since about half two this morning, about nine now, so I'm just starting to uh, pack up, I'll tell you one thing, this wool blanket that Paul gave me, combined with all the stuff, that's the, that's the most, the warmest I've ever, ever been in a hammock, without a doubt. Now it's time to get packed up. We'll see what the boys are doing about breakfast, I'm not sure. And then get back home. So just a quick look at Paul's Lavu. Paul oh, worked really well. Oh, it's just, water just beading off. It's both dry inside. It's not been treated, it's only even. Never been treated, it's only chewed, isn't it? So yeah. I need to start using mine a bit more. That's spot on that Paul. Oh, okay. Right guys, just a very quick parting video because my phone's getting wet and it don't like the wet. So <laughs> cheers Steve, catch you on the next one. Mate. Yeah mate. Yeah, Good working on it. Right, we will. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, let's get cheers for sure. See you again, mate. Yeah, wicked. Right, right. Make this short because it's getting soaked. Right then, that's it. Back at car now. Absolutely cracking night last night with you, Steve and Paul, bringing in New Year. And the New Year so far is rather damp. <laughs> it's been raining like non-stop all night and all morning. It's about half eleven now, but I haven't managed to do much filming because I film something you know I film all of my videos on my iPhone and iPhones aren't waterproof so I've been struggling so 
what I'll do is I'll leave you with a few pictures I took to our night after this. It's a bit of an outro. But yeah, if you watch this far, thank you very much. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope everyone has an awesome 2017. And I'll see you on another camp soon.